Still flying in the region is the Israeli Air Force, bombing neighborhoods in Gaza in the effort to stop rockets like those aimed at the airport. After 15 days of battle, 628 Palestinians are dead and 3,720 wounded, nearly all civilians. Barry Peterson is in Gaza. Shijaiwa, on the outskirts of Gaza City, is street after street of devastation, and desolation. The Israelis blasted it hard because they say rockets aimed at Israel were fired from here. We had to hit the ground from incoming fire and the buildings echoed with shooting from street to street fighting. This is now the ghost town of Gaza, a very eerie empty place. You can see the effect of the Israeli strikes and around us we can still hear the boom as more artillery is coming in. Airstrikes in almost every Gaza neighborhood are overwhelming the city's main hospital. Today, the power briefly cut out, leaving doctors treating patients by flashlight. As, as you see, it's, it's uh, empty. Empty, yeah. Dr. Ayman Esahabani runs the emergency room where supplies are running out. How do you feel when you see these people who have injuries that maybe you cannot even help? Many times, every day, I'm crying, crying, you know, every day. We met nine-year-old Hala Aluhati. She has head wounds yeah. and a broken leg. Are you scared? Yes? Yeah, I'm sure you are. I would be scared. She's so cute. She's breaking my heart, actually. Omar Al-Jubar is her nurse. And I pray for her to be okay as soon as possible. In Gaza, in this war, Children learn quickly how to put on a brave face. I didn't want to ask, are you hurting anywhere or are you okay? Okay. Okay, no hurting. No. There is a grim accounting out tonight by UNICEF, the UN Agency for Children. Since the fighting started two weeks ago, 146 Palestinian children between the ages of five months and 17 years old have been killed. On the Israeli side, Scott, six children have been hurt by rocket fire. Barry Peterson in Gaza City again for us tonight.